my name is Cesar Verdusik, and I'm a Marilyn Monroe collector. What led me to be a Marilyn Monroe fan was you could pretty much have any place you wanted. I mean, she like had this like huge career, but yet like emotionally she was like really sad. You know, like she was hurting from the inside. She can act and she can be whoever she needed to be, you know, but like nobody really cared to know how she really was, you know? Yeah. Like the really sad person that she was. I mean, you know, beside the fact that she was like super super gorgeous she lived a pretty sad life you know because of the fact that she looked the way she did when i say she could pretty much have anybody she could pretty much have like any guy she wanted but like that's all they used her for though was just for her looks you know so i could relate to that because like you know i could pretty much play the part and have anybody that i want but like they don't they never care to like learn how I am, you know what I mean? I think Marilyn is still at at the very top where it comes to like people still, everybody knows who she is, you know? I mean, she's like a legend. She's the most recognizable. Like who doesn't know Marilyn, you know what I mean? What I think makes her timeless and like appealing, appealing. everybody knows her, you know? and everybody will know her is like she knew how to she she knew how to work the camera she knows how to pose and be whatever she needed to be you know what i mean i mean she's absolutely gorgeous i think why generations are like they they, they know her you know so even even if you don't know who marilyn is now you will later in life everybody does yeah she did have a good career but you know i think it, she's more known you know for like the the sad person she really was like the hard life she really had yeah multiple marriages about three marriages and like miscarriages and she it was pretty rough yeah the big name she had an affair with was the kennedys but they're 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 still known for like um, being involved in her death, you know? You know, it could have been an accidental overdose because she was on multiple medications, but, you know, there's always conspiracy theories that the Kennedys had something to do with her death. And I mean, they're the Kennedys, so they could get away with it. Well, apparently she, she had an affair with Bobby and John. Yes. And um so she 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 kept a diary. And so because like that was close to around the time when she died, you know, she was like mult on multiple medications. She had a lot of issues like, you know, um cuz like her marriage just failed. So she was kind of like having a nervous breakdown. She was like institutionalized, you know, and um, so she had a lot of issues. So I think that she was going to go public with the, with her having an affair with them. And of course, that would ruin their career. So rumor has it that they... Well, Marilyn, I think she... I don't remember how she came up with that name, but uh, Monroe was her grandma's name. Yeah. There's, there's a story behind that. I don't know how exactly she came up with that name. But the Monroe part, it was from her grandma. She she fascinates me because I can relate to her. Like, even you can be, like, really good looking and have everything you want, anybody you want. You can have this, like, huge career. But you can still be, you can still suffer from the inside. And nobody knows, you know, nobody's ever going to know that except you. It's just kind of, it, it's it's really hard, you know? Because it's like you're never gonna you're never gonna get people to care about how somebody's suffering on these. All they see is just what's on the outside, you know. And it's not worth their time to see you for anything more than that. I'm Cesar Brindusi, and I'm a Marilyn Monroe fan.